When I was a child, Chihiro's younger brother Chihiro and accidentally entered a strange plane. Chin Shunin practiced for countless years in that plane and finally became the ultimate Dolua, breaking through the plane and returning to the Dolua continent. At this time, the Dolua continent had already changed, and his brother Chin Shunin was killed. His father was also indifferent to worldly affairs. The foundation of the Martial Soul Palace, which had been passed down for thousands of years, also fell into the hands of outsiders. After Chin Shunin found out the truth, he was determined to avenge his elder brother, kill Tang Hao, liquidate Bibi Dong, reclaim the Martial Soul Hall, and unify the mainland. Chin Shuan and calmly faced everyone. Father, justice and debt are not excuses for your cowardice. Tang Hao, if you kill my elder brother, today is your deadline. Bibi Dong, my Martial Soul Hall has given you everything, and that's how you repay it. You, an unfamiliar white-eyed wolf, today I invite you to die. Several years later, Chen Shunan sat on the throne, facing the gods and chatting and laughing. I am invincible in the world, and I will not fight against God. Who will I fight against? Keywords of the novel Doluo Star Killer Returns, Opening Liquidation BB Dong No Pop-Ups, Doluo Star Killer Returns, Opening Liquidation BB Dong Complete Collection Download TXT, Doluo Star Killer Returns, Opening Liquidation BB Dong Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 The Killing Star Returns from the Martial Soul Palace You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 The Killing Star Returns from the Martial Soul Palace Martial Soul City a young man in black is standing in front of the Martial Soul City. The man raised his eyes slightly and looked at the huge city gate in front of him. Martial Soul City. Have you finally come back? The man's name is Chen Shunin, and he is the youngest son of Qian Oliu, who is enshrined in the Martial Soul Hall. He is also the younger brother of Qiang Sunji. Chen Shunin was once known as the first genius of the Martial Soul Hall. However, when Chin Shunin was ten years old, he went to the Star Forest with Chin Shunin Ji to hunt soul beasts, but Chin Shunin accidentally entered the depths of the Star Forest. From then on, he disappeared. Upon learning that his younger brother was missing, Chin Shunin Ji immediately took the elder of the Martial Soul Hall to search, but Chin Shunin An's figure could not be found at all. Later, Chihiro An's father, Chihiro Lu, also brought people to the Star Forest several times to search for Chihiroan, but he never found him. Until the end, everyone thought he was dead. Even Chihiro lost his last hope. Originally, he wanted Chihiro to inherit his papal position, but Chihiro disappeared and Chihiro could only let Chihiro G inherit. But who knows, Chihiroan did not die in the beginning. After entering the Starry Forest, Chen Shunin stumbled into a strange plain. The world was extremely terrifying, with forests and bones everywhere, and various powerful and unparalleled soul beasts everywhere. Not only that, but also countless legendary creatures. Dragons. Chen Shunin survived by chance, and in order to survive, he began to cultivate in that place. Finally, the emperor lived up to those with intentions. After countless years, Chen Shunin finally broke through and became the ultimate Doluo. He was finally able to leave that place. Now back, I don't know how many years have passed. It's really a world of vicissitudes, things change and people change. I don't know, but my father and brother are fine. Chen Shunin sighed softly. Immediately, he walked forward with his mouth moving in steps. The guards looked curiously at the newcomer. Because at this moment, he was wearing a black robe with a hood and hat, and he didn't look like an ordinary person. At this moment, the guard soldiers immediately stopped the man and said, What kind of person are you? This is the martial soul city, you can't trespass. Chen Shunin spoke calmly and said, My name is Chen Shunin and I want to see your Pope. What are you saying? Is the Pope something you can see if you want? You said your surname is Qian, and I have seen people like you many times. 
Do you want to impersonate the nobles of our martial soul hall? The guard soldier looked at Chen Xuanan and sneered. Chen Xuanan frowned and remained silent for a moment before saying, Since that's the case, please help report it. You report it and say my name is Chen Xuanan. Naturally, someone will come to pick me up. Chen Xuanan looked at the martial soul city. After all, this martial soul city is his own place, and it's not good to force himself to break through. Moreover, since I am back, I want to come back with a bright and charming atmosphere and sneak in secretly. What's the point of this? However, the guard ignored humanity and said, Roll on, roll on. There are too many people like you who want to infiltrate our martial soul city. This is martial soul city, and not all cats and dogs can enter. As soon as these words were spoken, a hint of anger appeared on Qian Xuanan's face and he immediately asked, What are you saying? Hurry up, if we don't leave again, we'll have to rush people. The guard immediately shouted. Wait a minute. At that moment, at the door, a crisp sound immediately sounded. Qian Xuanan looked up and saw a beautiful young girl at the entrance of the city. She was wearing a golden armor, with a tall and graceful figure, a stunning appearance, and a stunning feeling. Golden short hair casually draped over fragrant shoulders, revealing a perfect profile. A pair of golden pupils shimmered with a lively light, delicate Cheong nose perked up, cherry red lips pursed slightly, exuding a heroic and spirited aura all over. The soldiers saw the girl and immediately saluted, I've seen a saint. This saint is none other than Hulina, the disciple of the current pope, the first young generation of the Marshall Soul Temple, and one of the current golden generations. Hulina nodded slightly and immediately looked at the two teams of soldiers, asking, what's going on? Immediately, a soldier spoke up and said, Your Highness, this kid pretends to be from the Qian family and wants to break into our martial soul city. At this moment, Hulina walked step by step towards Qian Xuanan, who calmly looked at the saint in front of him. This so dot called saint was just like a fifty-level soul king. I couldn't help but shake my head. Why are the saints in the martial soul hall so weak now? Hulaina looked at Qian Xuanan and calmly said, You say, you are from the Qian family. Qian Xuan Anping said calmly, Not bad. Please go and inform the Pope about my name, and they will naturally know. As soon as she said this, Hulina immediately looked coldly at Qian Sunan and said, The people of the Qian family are all nobles in the martial soul hall. How come I have never seen you before? There is going to be a soul master competition this time, and I see you. I'm afraid you want to infiltrate our martial soul city. Upon hearing this, Qian Xuanan frowned. His demands are not excessive, he just wants someone to help him report, is it so difficult? Why is the saint of the martial soul hall so unreasonable? Qian Xuanan shook his head, it seemed that he could only force himself to break through now. At this moment, Yulina continued to speak, go away, this is not where you should come, let alone pretend to be a member of the Qian family. As soon as he said this, even Qin Xuanan's face darkened. He looked at Hulina and snorted coldly, saying, since that's the case, I'll have to go in by myself. The words fell, and Qin Xuanan stepped out with one foot. Boom! Suddenly, the entire ground trembled. Qin Xuanan's momentum erupted in an instant. In the next moment, a terrifying pressure enveloped here, crushing the two guard soldiers to the ground. Even Hulina felt an incredibly heavy pressure, like a mountain pressing down on her body, making it impossible to breathe. Hulina looked at Qin Xuanan in surprise, with a shocked expression in her eyes. Although Hulina only has a strength of level 50, with her talent, she is capable of dealing with the full attack of strong opponents of the same level, and even surpassing the level to kill enemies is not impossible. However, Qin Xuanan's aura made her feel suffocated. She knew very well that the person in front of her was definitely beyond her expectations, very strong, very powerful. Put on, with a loud bang, Hulina knelt down directly in front of Qin Xuanan. Qin Xuanan walked lightly past Hulina and immediately said, 
the holy maiden in the martial soul hall is so weak now. It seems that Big Brother's vision is not good. Hulaina knelt beside Qian Xuanan, her eyes full of shock, unable to believe it at all. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Pope Bibi Don. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Pope Bibi Don. After waiting for Qin Xuanan to leave, the terrifying pressure finally dissipated. At this moment, anyone's eyes were filled with a stunning expression. Hulina slowly stood up from the ground and immediately said, Go and report to the Pope. Tell him that someone is going to invade our martial soul city. Also, tell him that he is very strong and may be a title dolor. He wants to harm our martial soul city. Yes. Immediately, those soldiers left and rushed towards the martial soul hall. Hulina looked at the back of Chen Xuanan as he left, and at this moment, Hulina did not show any signs of fear. In her opinion, although the newcomer was a title dolua, he was not much in front of their martial soul hall. They have so many title dolua in the martial soul hall, aren't they their opponents? In Hulina's heart, there was only resentment. She looked at Chin Xuanan's back and spoke coldly, dare to break into our martial soul hall. No matter who you are, I will make you pay the price. At this moment, three figures arrived at Hulina's place. One of them was wearing a silver white shirt, with a slender figure, pale skin, and exceptionally handsome. Red pupils, silver short hair, with a gradient of red hair at the end, and red butterfly patterns at the corners of the eyes. This person is Hulaina's brother, Xia Yu. There is another person with red hair, extremely hot, and a seductive demeanor. The body is slender, muscular, and carries a fierce aura. This person is Yen among the three members of the Golden Generation. There is also an old man holding a chrysanthemum, who looks just over twenty years old and extremely seductive, with a playful and disrespectful appearance. Upon seeing the old man, Helena immediately walked over and shouted, Grandpa Ju. This old man is one of the elders of the Martial Soul Hall, the Chrysanthemum Dolua Moon Pass. Yu Guan looked calmly at Hulina and asked, What's wrong, Nana? What's causing you so much panic? Hulaina immediately said, Grandpa Ju, it's not good. Someone forcibly broke into our Martial Soul City. It looks like a title Dolua. Ju Dolua Yu Guan was immediately somewhat shocked and asked again, do you say a title Dolua will forcibly invade our martial soul city? Hulina nodded immediately. Let's go take a look. The four of them immediately chased out in the direction where Qian Xuanan had left. At this moment, Qian Xuanan was slowly walking on the street of Wuhuan City, looking around. This martial soul city has undergone significant changes compared to the past, it's really a world of change. He sighed as he walked. However, after so many years, I'm afraid the papal throne is no longer a father anymore. It should be inherited by my elder brother. Chen Xuanan murmured lightly. At this moment, Chen Xuanan recalled the scene of being with his elder brother Chen Xuan Ji when he was a child. At that time, no matter what the big brother had, he would always let him down. Even if his talent was better than his big brother, the big brother had never been jealous. Their brotherly relationship has always been very good. Now, their brothers may not have seen each other for decades. Immediately, Chen Xuanan suddenly stopped walking because he realized that there were more than ten guards in front of him, blocking his way. Chen Xuanan looked at the guard in front of him and said with a faint smile, Why, is it so difficult for me to go home? Sir, this is the Marshal Soul Hall. You cannot force yourself to enter, said one of the guards respectfully. Chen Xuanan shook his head and said, I asked you to report, but you didn't report. I came in by myself, and you want to stop me again. At this moment, not far away, a male or female voice came from behind. Who are you and why did you force your way into our martial soul hall? In the next moment, a golden chrysanthemum appeared, and then a man in splendid attire appeared from among the golden chrysanthemums. This person is at the moon pass. Yueguan fell in front of Qin Xuanan, 
holding a golden chrysanthemum in his hand, which looked incredibly delicate and gave people an extremely uncomfortable feeling. The next moment, the moon pass suddenly released its martial soul, with nine soul rings appearing on him and then attacking towards Chinchuanan. The powerful force caused ripples in the air, demonstrating his formidable strength. The moon pass is a level 94 tidal dolua, and its strength can be considered a top-dot-notch presence on this continent. However, in the face of the attack from the moon pass, Chenshu and Ansi had no intention of dodging. Instead, she smiled slightly, and her palms suddenly swung out. A strong wind howled out and headed straight towards the moon pass. Bang the two collided and strong waves spread out. Yueguan was blown back several meters by the strong wind, while Qin Xuanan remained standing in place, as if the strong wind had no effect on him just now. But Yu Guan felt that the power of that palm was really too strong. If the opponent were serious, he might have been injured long ago. That means the person in front of me is very strong. At this moment, there was also a hint of timidity in Yu Guan's heart. Qin Xuanan's gaze remained calm as he looked at the moon pass and immediately spoke, Am I so unpopular? I'm just returning home, so many people are coming to stop me. Yu Guan looked at Qian Sunan and immediately asked, Who exactly is your excellency? Qian Xuanan spoke calmly and said, I told you but you don't believe me. My name is Qian Xuanan, and my elder brother's name is Qian Xuan Ji. I came to the Martial Soul Hall to find my brother. By the way, now he should be the Pope of the Martial Soul Hall. When everyone heard the name of Chihiroshi, almost everyone fell silent. They naturally know this name. Chen Xuan Ji was the previous Pope of the Martial Soul Hall. Unfortunately, after the battle with Tang Hao, he suffered serious injuries and passed away shortly after returning to the Martial Soul Hall. Later on, he became a disciple of Chihiroshi and his wife Bibi Dong served as the Pope of the Martial Soul Hall. They also found that it seemed that Pope Bibi Dong did not like others to talk about the former Pope, so almost no one dared to mention this name in front of the Pope. The three words, Qian Xu and Disease, have almost become taboos in the Martial Soul Hall. Looking at the surprised expressions on everyone's faces, Qian Xu and couldn't understand what was going on. But he had a bad premonition in his heart. At this moment, not far away, a voice immediately came. I heard you want to see me. I saw a beautiful figure slowly walking towards Qin Xuanan. She was wearing a golden dress, perfectly outlining her curves. The nine curved purple gold crown on top of her head was dazzling, and she held a scepter about two meters long, inlaid with countless gemstones. Her fair skin and almost perfect face carried a faint smile. And her eyes were filled with a sense of arrogance, like a noble queen and she is none other than the current Pope of the Martial Soul Temple. Bibi Dong End of this chapter Chapter 3 Who Killed My Big Brother? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Who Killed My Big Brother? I saw Bibi Dong wearing a pair of crystal high heels, stepping step by step on the ground, and the entire square even heard the sound of clattering. At this moment, Hulaina, Ju Dolua, and others saw Bibi Dong and quickly knelt down towards him, bowing and saying, I have seen the teacher. I have seen the Pope crowned. Bibi Dong raised his head arrogantly and said calmly, Let's all get up, there's no need to be too polite. Qin Xuanan looked at the woman, he didn't know her. When he went missing, he was only ten years old. At that time, the Pope of their Martial Soul Hall was still his father Qian Dao Lu. As for the elders of the Martial Soul Hall, they are all figures of the older generation. Now, I'm afraid they are all worshipped in the Dolua Temple. So, the new generation of Dolua elders with titles, Qin Xuanan, hardly knows them. He naturally didn't know the female Pope in front of him. However, what surprised Qin Xuanan was that the Pope was not his brother Qiang Sunji, but the woman in front of him. Although this woman exudes a strong aura, the Martial Soul Hall is a legacy of thousands of families that has been passed down for thousands of years. How could a woman sit on this papal throne? 
And where is my big brother Chinchuan's illness? Even if one's own father abdicates, shouldn't he let his elder brother Kiang Sunji sit on this papal throne? Chinchuan and looked at the approaching Pope Bibidong and calmly confirmed, Are you the Pope of the Martial Soul Temple now? Bibi smiled to the east and looked at Chinchuanan with a playful expression, saying, Why, isn't it that your excellency keeps saying he wants to see me outside the city? Now that you see me, you don't even know me. Chinchuanan shook his head and immediately sighed, I do want to see the Pope of the Martial Soul Hall, but I didn't expect that over the years, the Martial Soul Hall would fall into the hands of a woman. As soon as he said this, he didn't wait for Bibi Dong to get angry. Chrysanthemum Dolua immediately spoke up and said, Bold madman, how dare you slander the Pope's crown like this? Hulaina immediately spoke up, Where are you from, a country bug? How dare you slander my teacher like this? She is one of the few female popes in the history of the Martial Soul Hall. Her achievements cannot be evaluated by a country bumpkin like you. The guards next to them immediately drew their swords and entered a state of battle, pointing at Chen Xuanan. Bibi Dong remained calm, his gaze fixed on Chen Xuanan, and he said coldly, What do you mean by this? It's not your turn to interrupt the matter of our Martial Soul Hall. Bibi Dong began to test Chen Xuanan's aura but she felt that the aura on Chen Xuanan's body was like that of an ordinary person, without knowing his true strength. There are generally two situations for such a person, the first being a waste without soul power. Secondly, he is very strong. And the Chen Xuanan in front of me is naturally the second type. So even Bibi Dong dared not act rashly against Chen Xuanan. Chen Xuanan shrugged his shoulders and spoke calmly, Well, I'm not here to fight. I came here to see my big brother Chinchuan sick. I don't know where he is. Although Chinchuanan was very dissatisfied that the martial soul hall established by his family fell into the hands of a woman. But now, he still wants to figure out what's going on first. Upon hearing the three words Chinchuan disease, everyone's faces changed a bit again, even Bibi Dong's expression was slightly gloomy. Bibi Dong looked at Chinchuanan, pondered for a while, and finally took a deep breath before speaking, who are you and why do you want to see him? Upon hearing this, Chen Xuanan frowned and asked, I have said it many times. My name is Chen Xuanan and I am Chen Xuan Ji's younger brother. Upon hearing Chen Xuanan's name, Bibidong's body trembled suddenly. Once, she seemed to have heard Kiang Sunji mention this name, but Kiang Sunji once said that his younger brother died in the Star Forest when he was ten years old. It has been so many years now, how could it suddenly come back? Looking at Chen Xuanan, Bibi Dong clearly felt a little guilty and immediately spoke up, unfortunately, he has already died. At this moment, Chen Xuanan suddenly froze. Dead. Although his elder brother's talent was not as good as his own back then, he was definitely not inferior. In addition, with the inherited six-winged angel martial soul, his brother was able to break through the title Dolua without hesitation. With the protection of the martial soul hall, how could one easily die? At this moment, Chen Xuanan recalled his childhood with his elder brother, when he had been following him all along. Big brother will give up any good things to himself. If he makes a mistake, he will also cover up for himself and take responsibility alone. When hunting soul beasts, the elder brother will also protect himself thoughtfully behind him. Thinking of the past, Chen Xuanan's heart suddenly surged. Since just now, he has been holding back all along, in order to find his elder brother and figure out what exactly happened. But now, Bibi Dong tells him that his big brother has died. At this moment, Chen Xuanan's anger surged up. However, Chen Xuanan suppressed his inner restlessness and looked up at Bibi Dong, saying, Tell me, how did he die? As soon as the words fell, a terrifying wave erupted from Chen Xuanan's body. The intensity of this fluctuation is like a volcano exploding in an instant. The terrifying pressure instantly swept across the entire room, and everyone present was enveloped by this immense pressure, then knelt down on the ground. Hu Lina, Xiaoyu, Yen and those soldiers all knelt down one by one, some soldiers couldn't resist the pressure and sprayed blood directly. 
Even title Dolua like Ju Dolua feels very oppressive and difficult to breathe. Although Bibi Dong remained calm, his face was a bit pale at this moment, and there were fine beads of sweat floating on his forehead, making it difficult for him to resist the pressure. Bibi Dong was extremely shocked in her heart. Now, she is even more certain that the man in front of her is very strong. Bibi Dong calculated in her heart that she must not let Chen Xuan and know that she killed his elder brother. Otherwise, if she hands over, she may not be his opponent even if she joins forces with the elders of the Martial Soul Hall. Even if they kill him to the death, I'm afraid they will still be severely weakened. Immediately, Bibi Dong spoke up and said, Hao Tian Do Lua Tang Hao, he killed your big brother. Hao Tian Do Lua, Tang Hao. At this moment, Qin Xuanan's eyes showed a hint of ferocity. Remembering the kindness that my older brother had shown me before, no matter who killed him, he would spare no effort to avenge him at all costs. At this moment, not far away, another powerful pressure struck and collided with the pressure of Qin Xuanan, who forcibly broke into my martial soul hall. The sound of the road is booming, before anyone arrives, the sound arrives first. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Weak Father You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Weak Father Suddenly, two terrifying pressures collided, creating a visible ripple in the air. And then, a tall and slender handsome man walked slowly. He looked about thirty years old, with a simple and elegant demeanor, like a banished immortal in the dust, exuding extraordinary charm. That man is none other than Qian Xuanan's father, Qian Daolu. Although Qian Daolu is over a hundred years old, he still looks extremely young. Qian Dao influenza was subjected to the terrifying pressure, and immediately felt a little surprised in his heart. He murmured, what kind of person actually has such terrifying pressure? And, amidst this pressure, is there also the power of our angel's origin? Qian Dao Lu was extremely shocked and soon he saw Qian Xuanan standing on the ground. Qian Xuanan also looked up and looked at Qian Daoliu in mid-air, slightly stunned. Isn't that your own father, a thousand streams of thought? Qian Dao Lu also seemed to feel Qian Xuanan's breath. Although he had never seen Qian Xuanan grow up, the scent of blood was thicker than water, but it made him very familiar. Yue a thousand streams flew in an instant and landed in front of Qian Xuanan. At this moment, Qian Xuanan looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao and said, Father, I'm back. Anur. A thousand murmurs of tears flickered in his eyes as he spoke. Looking at his father, Qian Xuanan's heart was filled with excitement. Anur, is it really you? Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan with great excitement and asked. He is really afraid that this is a dream because he hasn't seen his child for too long. Father, it's really me, Chihiro and choked up. Ha ha ha, I've been waiting for decades and finally I've brought you back. Qian Daolu laughed and said, tears flickering in his eyes. At this moment, everyone on the side was extremely shocked, their eyes widened in disbelief. Especially those like Chrysanthemum Dolua and Hulina, their faces turned pale at this moment. They didn't expect that this Qian Xuanan was really the son of the great deity Qian Daoliu. In this case, in his capacity, he will definitely be the elder of this temple. If he offends the elders of the temple, he may feel better for them in the future. In Bibidong's eyes, he was also extremely shocked. She never expected that a person who had been missing for decades would suddenly appear. If he were to learn about Chihiro's illness, I'm afraid he would become a very big trouble. Father, what's going on? Qian Xuanan looked at his father and asked. Qian Daoliu's gaze swept over Bibi Dong on the side and he immediately spoke, Come with me back to the temple of worship first. Qian Xuanan nodded and followed Qian Dao Lu to the Dolua shrine. Returning to the Dolua shrine, Qian Dao Lu pulled Qian Suan and immediately asked, Anur, is it really you? Tell me quickly where you have been all these years, and what has happened. Although Qian Xuanan has a bunch of questions to ask, he can only come one by one now. Qian Xuanan began to explain his whereabouts over the years. 
After hearing this, Qian Daolu was extremely shocked and said, are you saying that you entered a strange plane space back then? Qian Xuan and nodded and said, not bad. After I got lost, I entered that world. The cultivation system of that world is not much different from that of Dolua continent. It's just a small world without humans. There are only powerful soul beasts and some legendary dragons. I had no way to leave that world, and since then, I have been practicing in that world hunting soul beasts to obtain soul rings and countless dragon bones. I obtained soul bones from that dragon bone. So, after an unknown amount of time, I finally reached the level 99 extreme Doluo. At this moment, the sky suddenly opened a door, and that's why I was able to return upon hearing this, Qian Daolu was amazed by Qian Xuanan's experience. He was more excited, excited that Qian Xuanan had finally returned. After explaining his own situation, Qian Suan immediately looked at Qian Daolu and asked, Father, what exactly is going on? Why did Big Brother die? Qian Daolu looked at Qian Xuanan and measured in his heart. In his heart, he was very clear that Tang Hao's heavy injury was not the reason for killing Jier. The real reason for killing Jier was Jier's disciple, who is now the Pope Bibi Dong. He had examined the wounds of Qianxuan disease and possessed the death power of the death spider. That is to say, after being severely injured by Tang Hao, it was his own daughter in law who killed him. However, for the sake of safety, Qian Daolu still did not choose to speak up about this matter. When asked again, Qian Daolu thought for a moment and immediately said, It was Tang Hao who killed your big brother. Qian Daolu knew that with an Er's personality, if he knew that Bibi Dong had killed Jier, he would definitely spare no effort to kill Bibi Dong. However, Bibi Dong is now the Pope of the Martial Soul Hall and has already deeply rooted in people's hearts. If Bibi Dong dies, the Martial Soul Hall will definitely face tremendous turmoil. Also, it was their own son who forcefully compared with Bidong in the beginning, which was a debt owed by their Martial Soul Hall compared with Bidong. Anyway, he can't let Xiao Xue have no mother. So, Bibi Dong cannot die. Over the years, he has swallowed his pride and now, let's continue to endure it. He will rot this secret in his stomach and never reveal it. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan and continued, Back then, your elder brother wanted to obtain a 100,000 year soul ring, so. Qian Dao Lu began to tell the story of Qian Xuanji's pursuit of Tang Hao and Blue Silver Emperor. After Qian Daolu finished speaking, Qian Xuanan understood the cause and effect of all of this. It seems that the cause of all this is because of Tang Hao. Qian Xuanan doesn't care about fairness and justice, nor right or wrong. He only knows that if Tang Hao kills his elder brother, then he will seek revenge against Tang Hao. Tang Hao. One day, I will personally avenge my elder brother. Qian Xuanan spoke coldly. Immediately, he looked at Qian Daolu and continued, But why did you hand over the Martial Soul Hall to Bibi Dong? This Martial Soul Hall is the foundation of our thousand-year family. How can you give it to someone with a different surname? As far as I know, she is planning to pass on the foundation of our Martial Soul Hall to that garbage saint. That guy is not from our family, is he? When Qian Xuanan was at the city gate, he met Hulaina. Not only was Hulaina not strong, but she was also so sharp and harsh. Such a person is also worthy of inheriting the foundation of their martial soul hall. Qian Xuanan is very puzzled about this. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan and said, Back then, I was also a helpless act. You went missing, and your elder brother also passed away. That Bibi Dong is powerful and has become the title Dolua, making him the most suitable person to inherit the papal throne. Can you also regain the power of the martial soul hall? Qian Xuanan continued. Qian Daolu shook his head and said, Sunan, I'm old and don't want to ask about anything else. Moreover, this is also a debt that our family owes to your sister. In. Law. Handing over the martial soul hall to her can also be considered as a form of compensation. Qian Daolu slowly spoke up. 
Qian Chuanan looked at his father with some disbelief. He didn't expect that his father Qian Dao Lu's personality would be so weak. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The Philosophy of Father and Son. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 The Philosophy of Father and Son. Debt, Compensation. Qian Xuanan looked at his father and spoke calmly, Father, you have also said that everything she has is given by our martial soul hall. I don't think our martial soul hall owes her anything. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan and shook his head, saying, Your elder brother did some wrong things back then. This is our debt to her. Although Bibi Dong has great ambitions, she is still dedicated to the development of our Martial Soul Hall. In the years since she took office, our Martial Soul Hall has indeed achieved great development in her, you have returned now. Although the position of the Pope should have belonged to you, I still advise you not to think about competing for the position of the Pope. After all, rather than internal friction, our Martial Soul Hall should unite and unite with the outside world. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan and continued. Qian Xuanan understood from Qian Daoliu's words that he originally thought his father would support him without hesitation, no matter what he did, he would support him. Unexpectedly, my father was worried about competing for the papal throne. To be honest, just a seat, he Qian Xuanan doesn't care at all, he only cares about emotions. However, his father's words made him feel a bit uneasy. That's because Bibi Dong has strong strength and leadership skills, so I hope you can assist her more and let our martial soul hall prosper. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan and continued. Qian Xuanan looked at his father and calmly said, Because my elder brother owes him a debt, we will give her the foundation of our thousand-year-old martial soul hall, and then let her give it to someone else. Sigh. Qian Dao flew sighed and immediately looked at Qian Xuanan, saying, you come with me. Qian Xuanan nodded and followed Qian Dao Lu. The two of them arrived at a large hall, with a huge angel statue standing in the center of the hall. This angel statue stands ten meters tall, with a solemn and majestic posture that makes people unable to help but feel revered. The face of the angel statue is elegant and solemn, and the carved facial features are clear, as if revealing a trace of mysterious wisdom. Its eyes were wide open, filled with sharp light, as if it could see through everything in the world. The statue is adorned with a magnificent crown, adorned with sparkling gemstones, reflecting a dazzling light. The long hair under the crown of the head flows down like a waterfall, emitting a peaceful and sacred atmosphere. Qian Dao Lu looked at the angel statue and immediately said, Xuanan, do you know what the purpose of my martial soul hall is? Qian Xuanan did not answer. At this moment, Qian Dao Lu looked devoutly at the statue in front of him and continued, The purpose of our martial soul hall is to maintain order and peace on the mainland. Our thousand families are descendants of angels, and what we need to do is guide people towards light. Therefore, we must pursue justice. Angels are tolerant and compassionate. They yearn for peace, so we must bring peace to the mainland, not war. Qian Dao Lu stood under the angel statue and spoke. Speaking of which, Qian Xuanan naturally understood what his father meant. He was worried about competing with Nebidong for the position of Pope, so he wanted to warn himself not to compete. However, Chihiroan, who grew up in that cruel world since childhood, understands a truth. That is to say, this world is not either black or white, but the law of the jungle, where the strong are respected. My own father, Qian Dao Lu, also relied on his angelic bloodline. From childhood to adulthood, he was surrounded by stars and did not suffer too much on the mainland, which led to such thoughts and beliefs. If he had any mercy in the small world he had mistakenly entered, he might have died in that world long ago. Even in this Dolua continent, it is the same. The weak eat the strong, the strong are respected. Powerful people can stand here to praise their ideals and beliefs. But those who are not even soul masters, I don't know how many people have been indiscriminately killed by soul masters like dead dogs, and used as food by those powerful soul beasts in this world, only the strong can survive. All history is written by the victors. 
At that time, his talent in Chihiro was already slightly better than his elder brother Chihiro's illness. He was also designated as the Holy Son at the time, which means that if he didn't go missing, the position of Pope would be his own right now. And he doesn't necessarily have to snatch the papal throne. If it were his elder brother, his father, or anyone from a thousand families, he would have no complaints about it. But now, the papal position is in Bibidong's hands, and she has even chosen an unknown candidate with an unknown surname as a saint. If she wants to pass on the papal position in the future, he cannot accept it. Qin Xuanan calmly looked at Qian Dao Lu and immediately spoke, Father, I respect your thoughts. Upon hearing Qian Xuanan's words, Qian Dao Lu nodded somewhat satisfied and said, Just understand. However, Qian Xuanan's voice changed and he continued, I don't agree with your idea. The Marshall Soul Hall is the foundation passed down from generation to generation by our thousand families. For thousands of years, the Marshall Soul Hall has been surnamed Qian, and I won't watch it be controlled by an outsider. At this moment, Qian Deolius' face changed and he looked at Qian Xuanan, saying, Xuanan, why don't you understand? What are the benefits of competing with Bibi Dong? No matter who wins or loses, it's a win.win -win situation, it's all consuming the overall strength of our martial soul hall. Qian Xu and Anshuan sneered and looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao, are both sides hurt? Humph, father, you have also felt my pressure. Do you think Bibi Dong has the right to hurt me? As for the overall strength of the internal consumption martial soul hall, I can protect the martial soul hall for one day, and for one year, I can protect the martial soul hall for one year. Even when facing the two great mountains of the Heavenly Dou Empire and the Star Luo Empire, I Qin Xuanan alone is enough. Sunan, you. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Sunan and said, Do you want to go against the ancestral teachings of our angel family? Qian Xuanan shook his head and looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao, saying, Zhu Xuan. Father, don't be naive anymore. This world is already a world where the weak eat the strong, and the strong are respected. Your so-called justice and debt are just excuses for your cowardice, you, Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuan and in front of him, somewhat incredulous. Qian Xuanan looked at his father Qian Dao and immediately spoke up, Father, don't worry, now that I'm back, I'll do what you dare not do. I'll do what you can't do too. I will lead the martial soul hall towards true strength. After Qian Xuanan finished speaking, he looked at his father and said, By the way, I will also investigate the cause of Big Brother's death. I will avenge him with my own hands. After speaking, Qian Xuanan turned around and left. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan's back, feeling a bit confused. He didn't know if Sun An's return would be good or bad for the Martial Soul Hall. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Goodbye, Light Feather Dolor. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Goodbye, Light Feather Dolor. In the darkness, Bibi Dong sat in the quiet chamber and began to practice. A purple light gradually appeared on Bibi Dong's body, and the purple light became even stronger. A purple halo with a diameter of over a foot surrounded her, forming a strange pattern. The faint halo released from the pattern rapidly enhanced her cultivation. The purple aura gradually merged into her body, and Bibi Dong slowly exhaled a mouthful of turbid air, and her eyes suddenly opened. Purple light bloomed in those eyes, shining brightly. At this moment, Bibi Dong restrained his breath and immediately remembered what had happened today. She sat in the secret room and murmured, This Chen Xuanan, Pian Pian is coming back at this time. However, I don't care what your background is. If you dare to affect my divine examination, I will do everything to make you disappear. Bibidong's icy gaze looked ahead, revealing endless depth. Qin Xuanan walked out and began to contemplate everything that had happened. Although his father and Bibidong all said it was the Haokian Dolua Tang Hao who killed his elder brother. However, Qin Xuanan always felt something was wrong, as if there was an inexplicable sense of discord. Although that Haotian Dolua sounds like a title Dolua, a title Dolua could indeed kill Big Brother. 
However, at that time, his elder brother was the Pope. When he hunted down the Blue Silver Emperor, he also brought many elders with him. Among these elders, there were also several titled Doluo. In such a situation, would the elder brother still be killed by counterattacks? When my father talked about this matter, he was always hesitant, as if trying to conceal something. It seems that this matter is not so simple. Next, it seems that I need to find a way to investigate the big brother's matter first. Chen Xuanan was walking on the road when suddenly, a powerful aura rushed towards him. But an arrow, a terrifying arrow, came to Chihiro and sighed at an extremely fast speed. Chihiro and's body swayed slightly, his footsteps moved lightly, and he easily dodged the blow. Then, another arrow shot, but this time, three arrows shot at the same time. Chen Xuan and frowned slightly. He had already determined that the archer was also a super strong player at the level of the title Doluo, and was also skilled in long dot range attacks. Faced with this close range surprise attack, Chen Xuanan dared not be careless. Suddenly, a faint golden halo rippled around his body, and his wings shook, causing his body to disappear in place. Bang! 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 With three loud explosions, three arrows exploded one after another. At this moment, Chen Xuan Anxuan released his martial soul, and terrifying soul power instantly permeated, unleashing a powerful aura. In the next moment, behind Chen Xuanan, six golden wings instantly stretched out, and each feather had a metallic texture on its surface. The six wings of the angel vibrated together, and a terrifying energy wave suddenly rose up, causing the air to emit a violent distortion. Nine soul rings appeared on Chen Xuanan's body. If anyone saw them, they would definitely be frightened by these terrifying soul rings. Because on Chen Xuanan's body, nine red soul rings appeared, each containing incredibly powerful fluctuations. Red soul ring, what is that that's a 100,000 year soul ring? The ordinary title Dolua, possessing a 100,000 year soul ring, is already extremely terrifying, but now, Chin Xuanan's body actually has nine 100,000 year soul rings. If someone knew about such a situation, they would definitely be shocked. Shua. Chin Xuanan's body transformed into a golden stream of light in the next instant, rushing towards the person who had just launched the attack. Chin Xuanan's speed was really too fast, only to see a golden stream of light flickering. In the next moment, his figure had already appeared in front of the title Dolua who launched a long dot range attack. At this moment, Chen Xuanan finally saw the person attacking him clearly. He saw that person with light golden long hair looked like a teenager, half of his face covered in cold ice, like feathers. At this moment, the face of the title Dolua was filled with fear. He held a bow and arrow in his hand, and his gaze focused on Chen Xuanan, looking at him. His pupils contracted sharply, and his gaze was filled with an incredulous expression. At this moment, Chen Xuanan saw the title Dolua and immediately stopped. He looked at the title Dolua and said, Uncle Guangling, is that how you welcomed me? That title Dolua is the five sacrifices of the Hall of Worship, the old naughty boy Guangling. Seeing Guangling Dolua, Chen Xuanan smiled knowingly. After all, he knew that Uncle Guangling was only trying to test his own strength, not really wanting to ambush him. When I was young, although the six major offerings were good to me, the only person who could truly play with me and my elder brother was the old mischievous boy Guangling. Although he looks young, he is now a person in his nineties. However, he has always had a childlike heart and has been able to blend in with himself since childhood. Chen Xuanan vaguely remembers that when he was a child, his favorite was Uncle Guangling. At this moment, Guangling Dolua finally woke up from shock and looked at Chen Xuanan, saying, Xiaowen, I haven't seen you for decades. You are really amazing. Chen Xuanan looked at the nine red soul rings on his body, and only then did he understand what Guangling Dolua was surprised by. Immediately, Chen Xuanan restrained his soul ring and calmly said, I have had some adventures in recent years, so my soul rings are all 100,000 years old. Upon hearing Chen Xuanan's words, 
Guanling Dolua exclaimed in surprise, your adventure is truly incredible. At this moment, Guanling Dolua looked at Chen Xuanan, with a hint of tears in his eyes. He immediately spoke up, Xiao Xuanan, I didn't expect. In this lifetime, there is still a chance to see you again. Chen Xuanan looked at Guanling Dolua and smiled, saying, Uncle Guanling, we're all grown up now. Don't be so meaty. Ha ha ha. Guanling Dolua immediately laughed. Guanling Dolua immediately spoke up and said, Earlier today, I heard that someone forcibly broke into our martial soul hall. Later, I learned that it was you who came back. At that time, I was very excited, and I wanted to test your strength, so I ambushed you on this road. I didn't expect that this attempt would make me see such a stunning scene, Xiao Xuanan, why don't you come to my place for a drink? I want to know about your wonderful deeds over the years. Guanling Dolua smiled as he looked at Qin Xuanan. Qin Xuanan nodded and said, Okay, I also have a lot of doubts. I would like to ask Uncle Guanling for advice. Let's go then. Immediately, Qin Xuanan followed Guanling Dolua to Guanling Dolua's residence. The two of them started drinking and chatting happily, while Chihiro and began to talk about his own affairs in that small world including how to cultivate in that small world, how to fight against those terrifying soul beasts, and finally how to slay the evil dragon of course, some secret matters were automatically omitted by Qin Xuanan after speaking, Guanling Dolua was amazed and shocked. Xiaowen, I didn't expect you to have experienced so many hardships in your life. Guanling Dolua was extremely surprised. A ten-year-old boy went to a small world alone and became an extreme dolua through cultivation. How can this not be painful? Being able to survive and sit here is a miracle in itself. Qin Xuanan smiled calmly and said, it's just a bit of wind and frost. Although Qin Xuanan may say it lightly, Guanling Dolua knew that Qin Xuanan had suffered more than he had imagined. Qin Xuanan suddenly changed the topic and looked at Guanling Dolua, saying, compared to this, Uncle Guanling, do you know how my elder brother died? End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Qin Xuanan's Thoughts. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Qin Xuanan's Thoughts. Qin Xuanan looked seriously at Guanling Dolua and asked again, Uncle Guanling, do you know how my elder brother died? At this moment, Guanling Dolua looked at Qian Xuanan and immediately spoke solemnly, Xuanan, I know what you want to ask, but I am not sure about the specific matter. I only know that Xuanji went to pursue Tang Hao and his wife. As a result, Tang Hao's wife sacrificed herself to him, causing serious injuries to Sun's illness. After being seriously injured, I went to see Xuanyi once, and he was seriously injured. If it were an ordinary person who suffered such a serious injury, they would definitely not be able to survive. However, Xuanji is the title Dolua and the Pope of our Martial Soul Hall. There are so many heavenly and earthly treasures in our Martial Soul Hall. To be honest, I never thought that Xuanji would die like this. As soon as these words were spoken, Chen Xuanan immediately looked at Guanling Dolua and said, Uncle Guanling, what do you mean? What you're thinking is probably right. There's a big problem with dying in search of illness. However, no one knows what exactly happened. It's difficult to find out the truth from back then. Guanling Dolua continued to speak, Xuanan, tell me what you really want to do. Qin Xuanan Xuan immediately spoke up and said, Uncle Guanling, you also know the relationship between me and Big Brother. Big Brother can't die so inexplicably, so I want to give Big Brother justice. Guanling Dolua looked at Qin Xuanan and continued to ask, even if this justice is accompanied by countless blood, it may also cause chaos in our martial soul hall. Do you still have to do it? Qin Xuanan continued to nod and said, not bad, I don't care about anything. No matter what price I pay, I can bear it, so I must be fair. Upon hearing this, Guanling Dolua nodded slightly and said, I understand. Sunan, I won't advise you anymore. Whatever you want to do, just let go and do it. With your current strength, no matter what you do, I'm afraid no one can stop you. 
Chinchuanan nodded and said, if anyone blocks me, I will kill them. So what are you going to do specifically? If you want to find out all of this, although you are strong, it is difficult for you alone. Guangling Dolua continued as he looked at Chinchuanan. Uncle Guangling, what advice do you have? Chinchuan and humbly asked for advice. Guangling Dolua spoke seriously and said, If you want to find out information in the Martial Soul Hall, you must have some privileges. Perhaps you can become the elder of our Martial Soul Hall and have the identity of an elder. Everything will be easy for you to find out. Chinchuanan thought for a moment, but finally shook his head and said, Elder restrictions are too great, I need a better identity. What identity? Guangling Dolua looked at Chinchuanan in surprise and said, Do you want the position of Pope? Guangling Dolua immediately denied and said, Sunan, I know you are very strong, but now Bibi Dong is managing the Martial Soul Hall very well. If you want the position of Pope, I'm afraid no one will agree to the seven elders we worship in the temple Chinchuanan shook his head and continued speaking, I know that if I want to compete for the position of Pope now, I will be against the entire Martial Soul Hall. Therefore, I will retreat and seek second place. The Martial Soul Hall has a temple for worship and also a temple for the Pope. I want to establish a temple for judgment. The Court of Judgment Guanling Dolua looked at Chinchuanan in shock and asked, What is the Court of Judgment? The Court of Judgment, independent of the Hall of Worship and the Hall of the Pope, has independent law enforcement powers and can try anyone who violates the rules of our Martial Soul Hall. In this Hall of Judgment, everyone is equal and there is no distinction between the Pope, the Virgin Mary, or any other deity. As long as they violate the rules and laws of my Martial Soul Hall, I am qualified to judge them. Moreover, I have the right to access all the documents and materials of the Martial Soul Hall, and to question all the people of the Martial Soul Hall. Only in this way can I better investigate what happened back then Guangling Dolua looked at Qin Xuanan and said, your idea is certainly very convenient, but it may be difficult for you to obtain such high power. Qin Xuanan calmly looked at Guangling Dolua and said, it's not difficult. In this world, strength is paramount. As for this right, I can go find them and ask for it. The next day, Qin Xuanan found his father Qian Oliu and held an elder assembly in the Hall of Worship and the Hall of Martial Soul. At the elder assembly, all seven major offerings were present. The seven major offerings are the thousand paths of the great offering. The grandfather of Qian Renxue, Qian Dao Lu, is a martial soul six-winged angel. He is a peerless Dolua in the level 99 strong attack series and is titled Angel Dolua. His soul rings are black, 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 and red. Together with Tang Chen and Poseidon, they are known as the three unparalleled Dolua and enjoy the reputation of invincibility in the sky. Two Offerings of Golden Crocodiles The Golden Crocodile Dolua is the pinnacle Dolua of the 98 level strong attack system. Its martial soul is one of the top beast martial souls, the Golden Crocodile King, with strength only inferior to that of the Great Sacrifice Thousand Paths. It was once on par with the grandfather of Sor Dolua Chinchin and can be called an outstanding figure of the older generation. The age is also the largest among Dolua continent, one generation older than Qian Dao Lu. It also has a 100,000 year soul ring, which is very powerful and defensive. Three Offerings of Qingwan Qingwan Dolua Martial Soul Qingwan Divine Bird, the peak Dolua of the 97 level strong attack series, with soul rings in yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black. He was skilled at using wind elements and sound waves as means of attack and control, but was severely injured by the peacock feather released by Xiao Wu and died in Xiao Wu's close range attack technique. Four Offerings of Male Lions the Martial Soul is a fiery lion, the peak Dolua of the 97 level strong attack series, with soul rings in yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black. Having the soul skills to control all beast martial soul masters below the soul saint level, 
the beasts bow down and have a proud personality, avoiding teaming up with others. Five Offerings of Light Feathers Martial Soul Light Feather Divine Bow, Level 96 Strong Attack Peak Dolua, with soul rings in yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black. Although the actual age is over 90 years old, both the appearance and voice are a youthful image. Six Offerings of a Thousand June Martial Soul Pan Long Staff, the peak Dolua of the 96 level strong attack series, with soul rings in yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black. He was given the title, Qian Jun Dolua, and was twin brothers with seven sacrifices. They had also worked together for nearly a hundred years, and their level of understanding was unparalleled. Seven Offerings to Subdue Demons Martial Soul Pan Long Staff, the peak Dolua of the 96 level strong attack series, with soul rings in yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black. Title Demon Subduing Dolua In addition to the seven sacrifices, Bibi Dong also came to the conference. She also brought Chrysanthemum Dolua and Ghost Dolua with her. Upon arriving at the main hall, Bibi Dong immediately looked at the seven major offerings and bowed slightly, saying, Bibi Dong has seen all the offerings. Qian Dao Lu calmly said, You're welcome. At this moment, Bibi Dong spoke up and asked, Everyone, I don't know why everyone convened this joint conference of the Martial Soul Hall. Qian Dao Lu immediately spoke up and said, Perhaps you all know that Xuanan returned yesterday. Therefore, I am convening this conference. Firstly, it is to help Xuanan clean up the dust, and secondly, I would like everyone to discuss the issue of Xuanan's position in my martial soul hall. Bibi Dong immediately showed a hypocritical smile and spoke up, originally, I heard that the holy son of the martial soul hall was the Sunan brothers. If the Sunan brothers were not missing, he should now inherit the papal throne. But now everyone knows that our martial soul hall is in a developmental stage. If I abdicate now, I'm afraid all aspects of our martial soul hall will come to a standstill. So, Brother Sunan may not be suitable to take over the position of Pope. Of course, since Brother Xuanan has returned, we naturally cannot mistreat him. The elders of the temple nodded and said, That's right. The papal position is not suitable for exchange, so we can only make up for it from elsewhere. Sunan, why hasn't he come yet? Someone asked at this moment. At this moment, a figure in white appeared at the door of the meeting. The person who came was Qin Shunan. He was dressed in white, with a slender and straight figure, a handsome face, bright and lively eyes, and an imposing aura. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Court of Judgment You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Court of Judgment Qin Shuanan walked step by step into the main hall. At this moment, the six major worshippers in the main hall saw Qin Shuanan, and each of them had a shocked expression in their eyes. Qin Shuanan is not unfamiliar with these six major offerings. When Qin Shuanan was young, these six major worshippers watched him grow up, and they treated Qin Shuanan very well from a young age, treating him like their own child. So Qin Shuanan still has a deep impression of them. After Qin Shuanan walked into the conference hall, he first bowed to the six major worshippers and then said, I've seen my father, I've seen a few uncles. At this moment, Golden Crocodile Dolua looked at Qian Shuanan and burst into tears, saying, Shuanan, come here and let me see. Qin Shuanan walked up to Golden Crocodile Dolua. Golden Crocodile Dolua looked at Qin Shuanan and simply said, It's good to come back, it's good to come back. The other offerings were also a bit excited one by one, seeing Chihiro and was like seeing one's own child. Everyone was excited, besides Pope Bibi Don, there were also Chrysanthemum Dolua and Ghost Dolua. Immediately, Bibi Dong spoke up and said, Everyone, let's wait until later to discuss the current situation. Bibi Dong looked at Qin Shuanan and said, Brother Shuanan, I have said before that the position of the Pope should have belonged to you, 
but now I am taking care of many matters in the Marshal Soul Hall. If we give you the position of Pope, all affairs of our Marshal Soul Temple will come to a standstill. However, Brother Shuanan, I will never mistreat you. Look, how about you become the honorary elder of our Marshal Soul Hall? Bibi looked at Chin Shuanan with a smile from the east, but Chin Shuanan snorted coldly and said, Honorary elder, it's just a casual job. Do you think I would agree? Listening to Qian Xuanan's words, the six major worshippers immediately advised and said, Xuanan, the position of the Pope cannot be easily changed. Now Bibi Dong is managing our martial soul hall in an orderly manner. If she takes away her position as the Pope, it may be difficult to convince the crowd. Yeah, Sunan, even if you get the position of Pope in the current martial soul hall, it may be difficult to subdue the crowd. Qin Xuanan calmly looked at the worshippers. Although they didn't speak for themselves, Qin Xuanan knew that they were also considering the martial soul hall, so Qin Xuanan naturally wouldn't blame them. Qin Xuan Anping said calmly, So, do you want to use an honorary elder to send me away? At this moment, Qian Oliu, who had not spoken yet, spoke up and said, Xuanan, if you are willing, we can increase the number of offerings in the temple for you. With this statement, whether it was the remaining six major offerings, or Bibidong, Jiduluo, or Gidoluo, a shocked expression appeared in their eyes. Add a consecration quota. What an honor this is. You should know that worship has the power to directly elect and dismiss the Pope, which means that the power and status of worship are even higher than that of the Pope in the Martial Soul Hall. Moreover, from ancient times to the present day, there have only been seven worshippers in the Martial Soul Hall. Only when the former worshipper dies can a new one be elected. It's a hundred times harder to become a worshipper of the Martial Soul Hall than to become an elder of the Martial Soul Hall. If the former deity did not die, even if his strength was strong, he would not have had the opportunity to become a deity in the Martial Soul Hall. Now, Qian Oliu has added a position of deity to Qin Shuanan, which means that the great dedication is a privilege among Qin Shuanan's privileges. This kind of honor has never been seen in the martial soul hall since ancient times. If someone refuses such a generous offer, unless that person is a fool. But at this moment, Chihiro and Zgez remained unmoved, because he knew that although the power of the apostolic temple could dismiss the Pope, it was mutually restrictive and restricted everywhere. Father clearly did not want to uncover the truth about his elder brother's death. If he really joined the worship hall, he would definitely be restricted by his father. So, naturally he cannot agree. Qin Xuanan calmly looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao and said, Sorry, father, I can't accept it. When Qin Xuanan refused, everyone present showed an extremely shocked expression. Except for Guangling Doluo, no one expected Qin Xuan and to refuse such a good condition. They widened their eyes one by one and looked at Qin Xuanan. Qin Xuan Anxuan walked up to everyone and looked at them before speaking up, everyone, the martial soul hall was created by our Qianjia ancestor. Do you have any objections to this? Everyone looked at each other and nodded slightly. Qin Xuan and continued, so, all the popes in our martial soul hall have had the surname Qin and have never changed for thousands of years, have they? Everyone nodded again. And as everyone has said, I was the holy son of the martial soul temple back then. If I hadn't gone missing, the position of the pope would have been mine, right? Qin Xuanan continued to ask, but everyone had nothing to say. At this moment, only Bibi Dong raised his eyes slightly and looked at Chihiroan, saying, So, are you going to compete with me for the position of Pope? Qin Xuan Anmian was not afraid at all compared to Bidong's gaze, but calmly said, That's right, I want to fight for the position of Pope. This position must belong to my family, and I am determined to win it. Qin Xuanan's words fell, causing an uproar throughout the room. Everyone is somewhat dissatisfied with Qin Xuanan's approach. At this moment, Chrysanthemum Dolua immediately spoke up and said, Do you know what your majesty the Pope has done for the Martial Soul Hall over the years? She has done so much for our Martial Soul Hall. Did you just take it away as you said? 
I am the first to disagree with taking the position under the Pope's crown. Gue Doloa immediately said with determination, I don't agree either. Sunan, is it a bit thoughtless of you to do this? It will only cause chaos in our martial soul hall. Jean Crocodile Dolua immediately spoke up. Looking at the opposition from everyone, Chen Shuanan sneered. This was something he had anticipated long ago. Chen Shuanan looked at the crowd and continued, I knew for a long time that if I were to seize the position of Pope, you would definitely not agree, but I don't care about anything else. The Pope of this martial soul hall must have the surname Chen. Since you say I don't know much about the martial soul hall, I will inherit the papal throne and split the martial soul hall. All right, I'll give you time to prepare. Now, I won't compete with you for the time being. But I have one condition. Chen Xuanan looked at Bibi Dong and spoke firmly. What conditions? Bibi Dong looked at Chen Xuanan and asked. Chen Xuanan stood in front of everyone and spoke, Everyone, I want to establish a new department in the Martial Soul Hall, and the name of this department is called the Judgment Hall. The Court of Judgment. As soon as these words were spoken, everyone showed a surprised expression and looked towards Chen Xuan and one by one. Chen Xuanan continued, Not bad, the Court of Judgment is independent of the Apostolic Hall and the Papal Hall, and has independent law enforcement powers. I have the right to access all documents and materials of the Martial Soul Hall, interrogate everyone in the Martial Soul Hall, and judge anyone who violates the rules of our Martial Soul Hall. In this Hall of Judgment, everyone is equal and there is no distinction between the Pope, the Virgin Mary, or any other deity. As long as someone violates the rules of the Martial Soul Hall, I will make a ruling in the Court of Judgment. Chen Xuan and spoke with a firm tone, unable to say a word. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Establishment of the Court of Judgment. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Establishment of the Court of Judgment. At this moment, anyone who heard Chen Xuan An's description showed a surprised expression. Especially the Chrysanthemum Dolua, upon hearing Chen Xuan An's request, immediately stood up and questioned Everyone is equal and on equal footing with the Pope's offerings. Are you not considering the Pope and the offerings? Just as Ju Dolua finished speaking, the next moment, a terrifying force suddenly attacked him. In the next moment, Chihiro Ala pulled out a silhouette that, at a speed that was difficult for everyone to observe, instantly approached Kikudoluo. A powerful aura erupted in an instant, and at this moment, Ju Dolua's gaze froze. He couldn't believe his own eyes. When did Chen Xuanan come over? I saw Chen Xuanan grab Ju Dolua's neck and lift him up directly. At this moment, everyone looked at Chen Xuan and in shock. Chen Xuan and looked at Ju Doluo and said, I'm talking to your master. Who allowed you to bark and bark here? Speaking, Chen Xuan and waved his hand and saw that the chrysanthemum Dolua was fiercely smashed out by Chen Xuan and, crashing into the wall with a loud bang, causing the entire house to tremble. Then he fell heavily to the ground. Ju Dolua spat out blood and struggled to get up. Chen Xuan An's power is too strong, even a simple casual blow is not something that Kikudoluo can withstand. Yu, Chen Xuan An turned to look at Bibi Dong and said indifferently, Pope, please take care of your dog. Upon hearing this, Bibi looked gloomy at Chen Xuan An from the east. Chen Xuan An continued to look at Bibi Dong and the seven worshippers and said, Everyone, what do you think of my proposal? At this moment, everyone looked at Chen Xuan An but no one answered. Chen Xuanan looked at the crowd in the hall and continued, Everyone, let me be frank. My proposal was not discussed with you, and whether you agree or not, I will do it according to my own will. As for some of you who think you can stop me, you can come up and give it a try. At this moment, Guangling Dolua immediately smiled and said, I think Xiao Xuanan's proposal is good. Anyway, Xiao Xuanan is considering our martial soul hall. There is nothing wrong with adding a judgment hall to the martial soul hall. Having a judgment hall can judge those who are guilty and have ulterior motives in our martial soul hall, which is very beneficial for the unity of our martial soul hall Ching Wan Dolua, standing beside him, 
immediately nodded and said, I once saw a sentence in a book called, The Emperor Breaks the Law and Commits the Same Crime as the Common People. The rules of our martial soul hall are inherently inviolable. Adding this judgment hall to restrain those who violate the law and discipline in the martial soul hall is feasible, I think. Xiongshu Dolua also nodded and said, I am a rough person, but I can't stand those useless people who bully others. So, I think the idea of equality for everyone is good. I support Xuanan. Our brothers also support us. At this moment, Qian Jun Dolua and Demon Subduing Dolua on the side spoke up. Golden Crocodile Dolua nodded and said, Okay, I also support it. De Fenkian Oliu looked at Qin Shuanan and knew that if Qin Shuanan was to be stopped, he was afraid that Qin Shuanan would have to compete for the position of Pope again. So, he nodded and agreed, since that's the case, then let's set up the Court of Judgment and let Sun and be the head of this Court of Judgment. As for the personnel of the Court of Judgment, you can choose the people from the Martial Soul Hall. Qin Shu and Anxuan looked at Pope Bibi Dong on the side and asked, Pope, what do you think? Bibi Dong looked at Qin Shu and, and slowly spoke, since all the worshippers have agreed, it doesn't matter what I think anymore. You can do whatever you want. Bibi Dong finished speaking and immediately stood up. Everyone, the affairs of the Martial Soul Hall are busy. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. Let's go. Bibi Dong spoke and immediately left with Jiduluo and Gidoluo. A few more days passed. Qin Shuanan has officially established the Court of Judgment. The candidates for the Court of Judgment are all selected by Qin Shuanan from some of the Sol Dolua in the Martial Soul Hall. Although their strength is not very strong, almost all of these people are confidants of Guangling Dolua, and some are dedicated to the Martial Soul Hall. So, it's very suitable for them to be the law enforcement officers in this ruling hall. However, just these days, the Martial Soul Hall is also about to hold a grand event. This grand event is called the Soul Master Competition, which is a competition conducted by young people from various regions and teams, divided into three competition areas. The first division is composed of teams led by the Heavenly Doe Empire and elected from various duchy colleges. The second division is elected by teams between the Star Empire and various principalities. The third competition area is the Martial Soul Hall Academy. The Heavenly Doe Empire and the Star Luo Empire each held a competition, selecting several teams and finally meeting at the Martial Soul Hall to determine the champion of the final Soul Master competition. Now, both the Heavenly Doe Empire and the Star Luo Empire have elected teams and are rushing towards the Martial Soul Hall. Qian Xuanan arrived in front of Qian Daoliu. At this moment, Qian Daolu looked at Qian Xuanan and said, Xuanan, have you come? Qian Xuanan nodded slightly. Qian Daolu spoke up and said, Sunan, the Soul Master competition is about to start soon. I heard that your niece is also coming to our martial soul hall. Perhaps you can meet up. Niece. Qian Xuanan was somewhat surprised and looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao, father, do you mean, big brother's daughter? Qian Dao Lu nodded and said, I never told you before that your older brother left behind a daughter named Qian Rinxue. She is now in her twenties. At this moment, Qian Xuanan's eyes showed a surprised expression. He didn't expect that his elder brother still had a descendant. He immediately said, why don't you see her in the martial soul hall? Where did she go? Qian Dao flew side and looked at Qian Xuan and Dao, saying, Even in our martial soul hall, only a very small number of people know about this matter. Xiao Xue, she's working as an undercover agent in the Tiendou Empire. Undercover. Qian Xuanan looked at Qian Dao Lu with some shock and asked again, Is Xiao Xue's talent very poor? Qian Dao Lu shook his head and said, no, Xiao Xue's talent is second only to you, and even surpasses your big brother. At this moment, Qian Xuanan couldn't sit still anymore. This incident completely shattered Qian Xuanan's worldview. Since Xiao Xue has such great talent, why is she not the saint of our martial soul hall, but instead chose an outsider with extremely poor talent as the saint? 
Chen Xuanan remembered the saint she had just returned and met. Her talent was really poor. It was embarrassing that the Marshal Soul Hall had elected such a weak person as the saint. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Anger Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Anger Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection Looking at Qian Xuanan's confusion, Qian Dao Lu began to explain, this is what Xiao Xue requested herself. She knows that her mother Bibi Dong wants to unify the mainland. She wanted to seize the Marshal Soul Hall without bloodshed, so she gave up her luxurious life in the hall and went to the Heavenly Do Empire alone. She killed Prince Weeking of the Heavenly Do Empire, changed her name and surname, and used her identity to live in the Heavenly Do Empire Palace. Upon hearing this, Qin Xuanan's face had already turned angry. Why didn't you stop her? Qian Suan looked at Qian Dao Lu and asked. Qian Dao Lu calmly said, Xiao Xue has her own path to take, and although she is going undercover, it is also for the sake of humanitarianism and for the consideration of the world. If we could seize the Heavenly Do Empire without any bloodshed, it would be even better, ha ha ha. At this moment, Qian Xuanan laughed and looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao, Father, you are really naive. If you are really for humanitarianism, for the ancestral teachings of the Angel Tribe, for justice and tolerance, why should you invade other countries? Is it not good to let Xiao Xue grow up under the cultivation of the Martial Soul Hall and become an unparalleled powerhouse before invading for the sake of the interests of the Martial Soul Hall? However, you wasted Xiao Xue's talent and sent her to the Tiendo Empire as an undercover agent. What a great plan! Qian Xuan and looked at Qian Dao Lu and snorted coldly. If it weren't for the fact that the old guy in front of him was his own father, with his temper, he would have taken action to teach him a lesson long ago. Xuanan, don't be too excited either. Although Xiao Xue did waste several years of talent, I have learned the news that the Snow Knight Emperor should not live for many years. As long as he dies, Xiao Xue can smoothly inherit the throne and seize the Tiendo Empire without bloodshed. Qian Dao Lu immediately explained. Not excited. How can I not be excited? Qian Xuanan looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao and said, Father, have you ever considered Xiao Xue's feelings when you do this? Have you let her more than twenty years of youth be wasted on this matter? If you really want to seize this heavenly Do Empire, with your ultimate Dolua power, let all seven major worshippers deploy and directly attack it, won't you? With your strength, who can stop the empire from fighting that day Qian Xuanan continued to rage. Qian Dao Lu looked at Qian Xuanan with a helpless expression on his face and immediately continued, Actually, I never thought of invading other countries. If I wanted to unify the mainland, from the beginning, I wouldn't let Bibi Dong succeed. Xiao Xue chose to do this more because her mother Bibi Dong Qian Xuanan understood from Qian Daoliu's words that his father did not want to unify the mainland, so the one who wanted to unify the mainland was that Bibi Dong. Qian Xuanan doesn't think that unifying the mainland is anything wrong. This world is inherently a world of the fittest, and the weak have to be beaten. However, what angered Qian Xuanan was the foolish plan of this undercover agent. Xiao Xue's talent is second only to herself. So, after more than twenty years of youth, Xiao Xue could have become a powerful expert. In a few years, I will become a title Dolua and cultivate Xiao Xue into a strong person. Isn't it a hundred times better than this foolish plan? Let Xiao Xue go undercover. It sounds like a good plan, but who among them is considering Xiao Xue's safety? Who is responsible for Xiao Xue's youth? Father, do you mean that Bibi Dong let Xiao Xue go? Qian Xuanan looked at Qian Liu and asked. Qian Dao Lu nodded slightly and said, Their mother daughter relationship is not good because your older brother insulted Bibi Dong. Bibi Dong does not acknowledge this daughter. Since childhood, Bibi Dong has regarded Xiao Xue as a villain and never treated her well. So, since Xiao Xue wanted to prove herself, she chose this plan to please her mother. As long as she completes this plan, it's equivalent to helping her mother solve an empire. 
In that case, her mother will definitely treat her well upon hearing this, Chen Xuanan became even more angry. He he. Chen Xuanan looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao and said, Is this the good daughter dot in dot law you have maintained? Although Big Brother was wrong in the past, the child was innocent. She didn't want to see Little Snow and even pushed her into the tiger's mouth. I see, she doesn't care about Xiao Xue's life or death, so she deliberately made Xiao Xue go undercover. In her eyes, even the garbage saint is hundreds of times stronger than Xiao Xue. Otherwise, how could she re-elect a saint at this moment, an extremely powerful aura erupted from Qin Xuanan's body. He looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao and said, Father, I don't care what I used to be, but now that I'm back, Xiao Xue is the only flesh and blood of Big Brother and the heir of our martial soul hall. I must fight for justice for Xiao Xue. At this moment, Qian Dao Lu immediately said, Xuanan, what do you want to do? Don't be impulsive. Qian Xuanan looked at Qian Dao Lu Dao and said, Father, you don't have to worry about anything. As for what I do, you don't have to worry either. Qian Xuanan said, walked out of the Temple of Worship, and headed straight for the Papal Hall. The Papal Palace. Bibi Dong sat on the Papal Throne with a worried expression on his face. On top of her fair and pretty face, there was immense sorrow. She wore a dazzling golden attire on top of her body, and the nine curved purple gold crown on top of her head shone brightly. She held a scepter about two meters long, inlaid with countless gemstones. Seeing Bibi Dong so worried, Juduluo beside him immediately asked, under the crown of the Pope, what makes you so worried? Bibi Dong calmly spoke up, what else can I do? Ju Doluo immediately said, I understand. It must be because of that matter with Qin Xuanan. Bibi Dong nodded and said, This Qin Xuanan has extremely strong strength, and he is determined to retake the martial soul hall, which poses a great threat to me. Crown, why don't we design to take him? Bibi Dong shook his head and said, He's like Kian Oliu, the extreme Doluo. How could he be so easily killed? So, what should we do? Ju Doluo immediately asked. Bibi Dong extended his hand and rubbed his temples. Immediately, she murmured, There will always be a chance. Bibi Dong pondered in her heart that she would soon pass the Rakshasa Divine Exam. As long as she passed the Rakshasa Nine Exam, she would become a god. When the time comes, she will kill whoever she wants, and Amir Qin Xuanan will naturally have a way to deal with it. The current plan is to temporarily stabilize Qin Xuanan. Just as Bibi Dong was pondering, suddenly, an extremely powerful force erupted outside the Papal Palace and directly attacked it. A terrifying sound came from the Tao. Bibi Dong, get out of here. I want to seek justice for Xiao Xue. End of this chapter.